All right, we got to swing the Jeep around back and park it up here for our brand new Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk. This thing rips too. We were going 85 on the way here to work at the good old Home Depot. We are back. And there it is. Oh boy, it's so nice coming to work here. It's the most fun job you could ever have. So I got some messages online about some people coming to swing by to check out all of our rental items. So we're having some actual one-on-one -on -one customers come in today to the Home Depot. And uh, we actually have all the sheds gone from last episode. If you guys haven't seen that. And then uh, the deck that was here, gone as well. We sold all four of those with the sheds. So that was uh, very good for that week sales. Because they actually have to buy those sheds. They can't just lease them or rent them or anything like that. I don't think that's even possible, but uh, we have some guys coming in very shortly to uh, maybe get some trucks and trailers for some stuff, uh, doing stuff at their house and uh, just hauling stuff around. So that's the plan, and uh, I think we're going to get going here very shortly. I might pull some stuff out and uh, see what they might like, what they might want to rent, maybe swing them into some other stuff they weren't looking for. Oh, so you need to do that project you're talking about. Well, we got a Vermeer right here. Check this out. Already getting prepared for the presentation, and it's going to be nice to finally talk to these guys one-on-one -on -one instead of just dropping them off at their homes. So if you guys like these videos, make sure you drop a like and also subscribe to the channel. A mindset of a millionaire would be subscribing to this channel because they're ahead of the game. They get notified before other people see it. So, I mean, you're winning both ways. So if you want to be in the concept mindset of a millionaire, subscribe to the channel. So we got the three trucks here. That uh, other totaled one we had a couple weeks back is on its way back in uh, two or three days. So that should be going good. And then we got that one Vermeer still out and the rest of the stuff still here. So I'm going to wait for this guy to roll in. Seems like a pretty sweet dude and uh, should work out good. Oh yeah, I forgot about these power washers here. So we have six of them. I might actually take one home in the back of the Jeep. Let me show you guys my new Trackhawk real quick. So I really like that uh, Duramax, the SEMA truck, the Chevy uh, we had a couple days ago. And I wanted to get more of an SUV kind of feeling. And this thing sure was the best choice. It's got so much torque and power. And then it's got some storage in the back. It's got the red velvet as well. So it's very nice. Alright, we still got boxes we got to clean out of there. That's the uh, storage closet. We just jammed stuff in there. Got some old bricks. Just doing an inventory check. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. We got brand new surveillance cameras. Those are, I think, six or seven around the building. So we got full security. Oh wait, there's a guy pulling in right now. Let's see what he's up to. Messix, a helping hand with your land. It's pretty catchy. How's it going, sir? Hello, how's your day? It's going great. Uh, are you the guy that was looking to rent some stuff? I know, what's your name? Is your name Rick? Uh, yes. Okay, so I saw your online order. I got the sheet right here. Let me just pull up my iPad real quick and then let me see your request order. All right, Rick, well, uh, I see the rental trailer you're looking at. It's running around $14,000 if you were to buy the thing. Full leasing costs per day were $75. I don't know why it says $140 in there. I got to update the website, but that's basically the price you're going to be paying per day. So $75, if that sounds good. And then uh, let me show you the trailer real quick. Come walk around here. It's just on the other side of the building. Oh, yeah, that was a great truck you had, too. 3,500 Ram. We got Cummins and all those. Looks like you had a Hemi. You might need to switch that out. You'll actually be fine. I'm just kidding. But uh, these are the trailers. 48 feet each one. They are gigantic. So uh, if you don't mind me asking, what kind of stuff are you going to do with the trailers? Like uh, heavy towing or construction equipment? I, I see you do something with the land business. Let me know what you're talking about here. Uh, I'll probably just use it for uh, hauling landscaping equipment. Landscaping. Okay. So uh, landscaping. Yeah, these trailers are fully enclosed. If they, do you have zero turn mowers? Because these things will uh, fit about three or four, actually. A great size, and uh, you can haul basically everything you need for the day. Cutting about 40 or 50 lawns. I think that would be uh, pretty nice to have one of these. So, uh, do you want to rent the thing? I can get the paperwork signed up right now. Just uh, step into my office if you want to do that. You ready? All right, come into the garden center. This is where we sign everything. Hey, Rick, before we go into my office, I, I saw you had a blue truck. Were you interested in maybe renting an orange ram to kind of match the colors? Uh, Sure. I could throw in a deal for you, 20 bucks an hour for that truck. That's like half the price I would be renting it out for. Well, let's go sign some paperwork. Alrighty, we're all set to go with paperwork, Rick. Uh, let's go grab the uh, rental truck, and then we'll hook up to one of the trailers here. I'm going to take this one. So I'll grab the truck and pull it around. All right up. There we go. Where are you at, Rick? There you are. You greased up the ball? All right, we're going in for the trailer one. Let's kind of straighten it out here. Back it up. Perfect. Right about there should be good. All right, I'm pulling it forward. Watch me. Am I uh, clear the other two? Yep. All right, looks good. Let me just pull it out here. 
Alrighty, there we go, guys. We got the uh, truck and the setup all going here. Rick, I think you're just about good. Come check out the trailer on the inside. And you can see we got full LED lights as well. Toolboxes for uh, any tools you need to service the zero turns. Pretty great trailer. Running for 70 bucks an hour, so... Uh, if you're doing it for a couple days, you're going to be in the hundreds or maybe even the thousands, just depending on how long you want it for. But uh, you're all set to go. Uh, you can leave your truck here, actually. got free parking around back. Follow me. You can come swing it around. I'll have to recommend this guy, Messix Land Helping. Uh, go ahead, fire it up, and then just swing back here in the back parking lot. Put it right here in this spot if it'll fit. I think you'll be good. Let me move my Jeep just in case. All right, we'll just swing this one over on the side here. It should be good. Alright, perfect. And then he'll just put his in right there. Thanks for coming to Home Depot to do the renting. And you're actually the first guy I've talked to in person. All the other ones have just dropped them off at houses. Uh, how far are you going with this stuff? About a couple miles, you said? Five or six. Five or six miles. Okay, so just doing neighborhood residential uh, lawn care. Great, great. So thanks for coming to Home Depot, man. I appreciate it. Uh, we'll handle all the payments and stuff when you get back. And uh, I think the rental's due in three and a half days. So I'll see you then. See you then. Well, the most beautiful part of the day has come to Home Depot, the setting of the sun. It looks super great on the building, and it's uh, just about done. It was a great day for rentals. We got some uh, more trucks out the door and a trailer. It was actually a surprise. I thought we were going to get some of the small ones out, but we ended up getting a big one, which worked out perfectly. I just have to grab my briefcase out of the office. Then I will be able to uh, go home. I got to do some computer work once I get there, doing some uh, financing for the vehicles. Oh, what's this guy doing? We're... We're closed right now. Hey, sir, how's it going? Uh, we're actually closed at Home Depot. What are you doing through here? I mean, it's uh, a public drive through but are you just passing to the back road here? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, this is the rental program. Are you looking to do rentals or anything, or are you just passing through? Oh, uh, I'm just passing through. All right. Uh, all right. Um, I'll, I'll see you later. Whoa, is that Batman back there or something? Jeez, that guy was scary. All right, let's go home. I don't want to think about that. I don't know why he was passing through here. There's nothing on the back road. I don't know why he would come through. Let me close the gate. Run out of here. All right, let's head home to our mansion where we can get a good night's rest. Okay, he's back there somewhere. I don't know where he went. Anyways, Home Depot's closed, so I don't got to worry about that. That guy was scary. I didn't want to be alone there. Oh, yeah, and I got to show you our mansion when we get home. It's pretty cool. $9.5 million ranch. It's got the land's more than the house, I would say. The house is about a million in construction. We're ripping right now. All right, breaks, breaks, breaks. I've never shown you guys this part of it, but it's super fun to show ya. Experience something different. All the lights are lit up as well, very cool. Pull through, I think the wife is cooking dinner, I'm not sure. Well, apparently she's out at book club. Anyways, alright, I'm going to bed. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. Boy, oh boy, am I ready to get today started. Put on some Lulu shorts, there we go. We're ready to head out today. I gotta grab me some Wheaties, of course, you know, that's the best cereal there is. Alright, well I'm out the door, I got the coffee as well, so we're ready to go back to work, and it's going to be an exciting day today. I I can just feel it, because uh, I, I think the football game is on later today, so it's going to be cool to come home. Just going to work, it's the coolest feeling as well, so let me hop in the Jeep here. Fire it up, oh gosh, this is like, this is the smoothest running car as well. Alright, and we're off, we're out of the ranch, onto the Home Depot today. And then I think uh, tomorrow that one guy's going to come in with the rental, so that should work out good. Get that guy all situated, we'll make a bank off of that one. I think we're making over a thousand bucks. Okay, why is there so many cars? Traffic must be uh, a lot today. Okay, let me pull out here. This is the nice thing about a Jeep. You just pass up all the Subarus. See you later. Got Mr. Officer right there. He's doing some uh, scanning work, it looks like. Making sure no one's speeding uh, like us, but you know we're good friends with him, so uh, we should be fine. All right, pull in here. Go through our electronic gate and click the button. There we go, perfect. Just park it up right about there on the curb. It's perfect. Alrighty, let's make sure everything's here. Just do a quick morning check. Got the two trucks, one's out. Wait, wait, something doesn't look right here. Hold on. One, two, three, four lawnmowers. One, two, three verme. Hold on, let me check my paperwork real quick. Pull it on my briefcase. Okay, we have six uh, in total. It looks like we got one out for lease. That means we should have five here. One, two, three, and then four on the back of the truck. Okay, hold on. Did We didn't move it last night. Wait, 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 what? One trailer? What are you talking about? There was 
another one right here. I swear I saw it last night. No, there definitely was two there last night. Okay, we just ran into a problem. We got two missing vehicle and trailers. Let me check around the back of the road. No, it's nothing back there. It's just a bunch of dust. Okay, well, I think we just got robbed. I'm giving the sheriff a call. Hello, is this the sheriff's department? Oh, yes, it is. Okay, wow, you guys need a new phone. Uh, how's it going? My name is Ian, and I own the Home Depot on uh, North Street. I don't know exactly what the back road's called, but I'm missing a trailer and a little skid steer from our rental uh, department. Do you have uh, any officer you could send over right now to check this out? I think uh, we might have one uh, missing. So, yeah, just send one of your guys over. If, if you're coming over, too, that's fine. All right, I'll see you in just a few. All right, they came here. Quick response. That's what I was looking for. Here he is. All right, how's it going, officer? Uh, thank you for uh, responding so quickly. So, yeah, we're missing two uh, things. We got a big trailer, about a 50-footer, and uh, a little one of those nice skid steers we got. Do you uh, need any help? I mean, do your work, I guess. I don't know what to do. We're just missing both of them. I know I did a check last night. Have any suggestions on what I should do about this uh, missing items? I don't know what to do. Uh, do you have any security footage? Oh, yeah, I actually... Two here. Come to my office. I can pull it from the tape. So, what were you doing before this? I thought I saw you scanning some uh, speeders there. Mostly, I was just eating a donut. Eating a donut? That's what I like to hear. All right. You got a cool voice there. Thanks. All right. Let's go check out the security tape. So, on the first one, you're going to see uh, like kind of a 180 degree view. You're going to see it scan back and forth, and I think you're going to see the suspect. So, it looks like we did get robbed. I'm looking for the first time here. So, let's go ahead and watch these and uh, make sure to watch the whole thing. It's pretty informational. Alright, well you saw both those, you think you could uh, find that guy? He looks like he's driving a little red truck there, a little Yoda. Oh wait, officer? Yo, what's up? Um, uh, uh, th that guy drove through here last night. He, he, he came through here right now. Wait, he was here last night, I talked to the guy. He had a f really deep voice, I don't know why. He must have hid right around this corner right here. Click at some tire tracks right here. You think you can match it on a vehicle? I think so. Let's get to work. I can actually ride with you. Let's go hop in your uh, police car. All right, officer. So you're driving. So uh, yeah, we'll just head over there. Head towards the construction site. Let's see if we can find anything there. You probably could have stashed it out there. I'm not sure. Maybe we'll check the residential as well. Have any ideas where you think you could be? Uh, at the moment, no. No? Okay. All right, let's head to the construction site. See if we can see anything. There you go. All right, I think it's possible he came over here. Uh, this is, they're doing some work on pipelines over here. Come around back. Maybe stash it out here. You know, a lot of people kind of stash things over here. Uh, you recognize this area? Uh, I've seen it before. Uh, I don't know, man. Call in some units. Let's get some uh, FBI out here. We're going to do a full search because I feel like this guy's stealing more than just stuff from us. So let's get this guy in jail. Call out the FBI. Bring him in. Well, guys, that's going to be the end of today's Rob episode. We got some intel on this guy. And I think we might be able to uh, get the FBI to catch these guys. They're coming out here right now with our full command and mobile center. And we're going to see what this guy's been up to. So thank you guys for watching today's Home Depot video. It was an exciting one. If you would want to see a part two of this in the near future, let me know in the comment section. And also by hitting a like button. Shows me you enjoy this stuff and I'll definitely do more for you guys. Thanks for watching today's video and I'll see you guys in the next one.